New York Comic Con is here, guys, and I posted about it some days ago. As many of you, I wasn't there. But thanks to Cartoon Universe that had posted many things on Twitter that happened on the Comic Con that we can look at today. I am Fandom, and as always, we will talk about what we got and what we can think about that will happen in the new season of the Dragon Prince. So, without further ado, let's just start. The first thing I want to talk about is about the third arc that many of the fans are talking about. Aaron, one of the writers of the shows, is clarifying what arc 3 is. They had three arcs in kind from the beginning. Netflix first green lighted two seasons and they agreed to three. But Netflix made it clear that might be all they get, so they were prepared for the show to end then. But the fans grew the show so much it defied expectations, and they green-lighted four more. And it's because of how much the fans loved the show. Originally, Arc 3 was just Season 7, but then they made Season 7 part of Arc 2. If it has been Arc 3, they would not have been able to do it justice due to not having enough resources. The organic Arc 3 will make more sense at the end of Season 7 but Aaron wants us to know about it. He is looking for the right partnerships with this. Aaron will have announcements about that in the coming months, but right now, Season 7 has to defy expectations to have Netflix coming back. Also, we got a new poster where Aravos is holding Sol Regim's head. It is called The Darkest Truths Hide in the Light. And now we come to the interesting part about the first episode that all people that was on the Comic-Con saw. There is no picture of it, and I respect that, because we don't want spoilers. But there is a lot of description, so I will read it all out, and if you don't want to get spoilers, then I can suggest that you leave this video, because all what I read out is all spoilers to the first episode. The self-episode is called Death Alive. A very dark start, don't you think? We start off with Cosmo having a vision. Astrid is trying to wake him from his trance. The intro is changed to new, with Claudia and Aravos. Aravos scooping her up, probably on his hand. But she doesn't turn to stone, as Viran or Callum. It is probably symbolizing that she is on Aravos' side. Viren, as we can see from previous seasons, didn't want to actually be with Aravos. He was like a pawn in the game. And we also know that Callum never want or will join Aravos, so they turns into stones. Also, we will get Ithari with a new look. He's working, when he is alerted that Runan must be alive because his lotus floats. But Ithari doesn't believe it. Callum is worried about Catolus because of the smoke that is probably coming from the town. But he also doesn't want to be separated from Rayla. She will go back with Runan, probably to Silvergrove, then go back to Catolus after. Also, in the meantime, Aravos combines the two staffs together, probably Virain's staff and Claudia's. Aravos says that when someone dies with great trauma, they go to the in-between. Maybe he is saying about between life and death. This gives Claudia hope that Virain could return, but Terry sees through that. After Callum part ways with Rayla and Runan, and also getting a goodbye kiss from Rayla, he returns to the destroyed castle. He is distraught at the destruction and sobs, but Soren is there to help him. Then we are back with Aravos. He says getting a soul out of the in-between requires a moon primal stone. It could take 100 years or they could make one. The Garden of Innocence is where they could get one. Claudia says that she has been there. She needs to get a map to find it. Soren finds the destroyed throne, probably in the castle. We then see a vision of Ezrin seeing his mom and dad together, like a daydream. Then Soren tells them all about Sol Regim's attack on the castle. Ezrin, probably in his anger, wants him destroyed. Soren tells Ezrin to calm down and Anya supports Ezrin. Then we see Corvus and Callum that are going to the Valley of the Graves to see where Sol Regim went. 
but they don't know the full story of what actually happened to Sol Regum, so they will probably will only find his skeleton. Then we see Aravos experiment with disguises. He turns into an island and rotates through different types of elven forms. At the Valley of the Graves, Corvus notices the new island. Corvus notices that the island in the water wasn't there before, however, Callum doesn't believe him. Suddenly, they find a human mage, with Aravos's voice, who says he is there to see the fallen dragon, and it is saying that Aravos is close to being discovered. Then Aravos transforms into a human appearance. As Callum and Corvus rush to him, Callum tries to help Aravos, not knowing who he is helping. Human Aravos offers an apple to Callum as a reward for helping him, but Corvus steps in and says no, as Aravos couldn't provide them a name when they asked him. Aravos walks away, unable to fool Callum. I seriously got Snow White vibes from the description. We see the shot from the New York Comic Con promo poster, with Runan and Rayla staring at Catolis. Then Rayla enters Catolis and sees Callum. They kiss. Runan takes in the destruction of Catolis. Then Ezran sees Runan and screams at him. He says that it was all Runan's fault and that Runan killed his father. Ezran wants Runan to be arrested, and Runan confesses to his assassination, and Soren arrests Runan. The scenes switch to the Star Scraper, where Astrid wants to help, probably the Dragon Gang. The Elder says no, saying, that they are merely watchers of the world. And then there is credits. There is a mage, Virain's staff, throne, blindfold, rotten apple, and Aravos holding Claudia. And all that is happening in one episode. That is very much for me. And also, we didn't get anything about Amaya and Janai in the first episode in those descriptions that we got. But I am sure that we will see them in the future episodes. It was it. I hoped you enjoyed the video, and this is it. I will sure make other videos in the future and post every news that we will get on the channel. So, see you all next time.